What's good, everybody? Um, I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about something that uh, not many people are taking seriously. Um, I feel like, you know, we, we live in a meme generation where, you know, the memes is it, the memes is everything. And I can't lie to you guys, I have been crying. Um, not only that, I've been watching memes of people play basketball in full suits. Um, I've watched memes of people, that people have hand sanitizer in their pocket. I even put out a meme of someone that had an assault rifle with a Lysol can attached to the bottom of it. It was hilarious. That was on my Twitter. But what people don't actually take serious is that we literally are all starting to become even more isolated than we already are. And what I mean by that is, a lot of us, especially the people that are watching this video, play video games. Um, we feel isolated already off the rip. A lot of us are introverts. Um, I'm not an introvert, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm very talkative. I talk a lot about a lot of stuff to a lot of people. But what tends to happen is, you know, not only does the isolation scare people, but it keeps people in a lot of dark thoughts. And what this whole coronavirus thing is doing is making everybody even more isolated and even more worried about having that physical you know touch with other people that physical connection with other people but i know that's not a, a a thing that this video is supposed to be about but i just want to touch light on it man don't be scared to talk to people you know what i mean reach out to others especially people that you game with i've seen a lot of stories about gamers especially introvert ones that go out to these gaming conventions and meet up with their friends and stuff like that that they've been gaming with for years and you know those type of stories always hit home for me because I'm one of those type of people. You know what I mean? A lot of my friends from back in the day, they either aren't here or they're doing other things, not the things that I'm doing. And I tend to, you know what I mean? Stay away from those things. So, you know, for people that have made friends in this gaming industry, keep striving, keep meeting your friends, keep, you know, loving the, the actual video game industry and world. But let's talk about something that, um, that really is starting to, uh, have my mind warped. Um, so as you know, if you don't know, um, the NBA season is um, suspended indefinitely. The MLB season is coming up and is suspended until further notice. Uh, NHL suspended until further notice. Um, I believe the NCAA just announced yesterday that they were shutting down their tournaments. Um, a lot of the other uh, college uh, programs were already shutting down. A lot of people were worried that the NCAA wasn't going to shut it down, that they were going to be greedy about money and all of that. But honestly, this is really a public, like, pan like possible pandemic. So with the coronavirus, you know, I'm one of those people that still have a day-to-day, -day, um, I guess, job and everything where I get to talk to other people and get other people's takes on the way things are going. So I work for the airline industry and a lot of people have been talking about, hey, who wants to die in Dubai and stuff like that. People are traveling out of the country because the tickets are so low. Not only that, it's spring break. So a lot of people are saying, hey, man, why not take advantage? The stock market is crashing, going back up, crashing, going back up. A lot of people don't know if they want to get in. They don't know if they want to get out. It's a lot of things that are going on, but nobody is talking about video games. Nobody has sat up there and, and, and thought to themselves, well, what's going to happen to the games that need to come out in the next three months, the next six months, the next nine months? What is going to happen with these games? And funny thing we're within that six month time period that NBA 2K21 or whatever they may name it is supposed to come out. And I started thinking to myself like, so what are they doing to combat this whole coronavirus thing and all that? Because these people work alongside other people within cubicles, within other rooms, some have offices and everything like that. And they have to travel back and forth to work every day. And I'm trying to figure out, are they going to stop operations? And I honestly, to tell you the truth, have received 30 plus emails from so many different companies telling me that they're taking massive precautions because of this uh, coronavirus and that a lot of people are either advised to stay home if they do come to work, stay vigilant or just do what you do. And I haven't received anything from 2K saying if they're taking any certain types of precautions. There's no memo that come out, came out at all. The only thing that I've seen from 2K in the last week was that they're going to be getting back into football games. Now, I could make that a whole other video, but I won't. 
they're going to be making football games again. But for this year, the fiscal year of 2021, they're saying that they're going to not make a simulation football game. So we may see something like an NFL playgrounds. But let's move on. So for 2K21, for NBA, what's going to happen? Has development come to a halt? Will there be a delay in the game? What can this coronavirus like actually make happen to one of our favorite titles? Because there's a lot of people out there that can't stand the game, troll the game, all of that. I'm one of those people that's on the fence, can't stand it, but I love it because I love the NBA and I love basketball. But when it comes down to development, uh, press, all of that, these guys don't have much time to bring out an annual game. Like, literally, as soon as they're done one game, they have about a three-month window where half of the team is split. Maybe three-quarters of those people are working on patches and everything, and one-fourth of those people are working on the next game. So since last September, they've already started development for the new game, which will be coming out this year. Not only that, they have to make two games. They have to make one game for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and they have to make another game for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So when you start sitting back and start thinking to yourself, you're like, okay, so these guys not only have to come out with two games, but literally a month to two months of development may come to a halt because a lot of these guys may have to work from home and may not have that hey yo is coding done they don't they don't have that now they have to get on the phone they have to ask people of course because if they're working from home if they're taking the right precautions they're not in the office so you know to you know make a long story short i'm scared that not only will the game be delayed but the next gen game may be delayed because I'm telling you now, a month of development is crucial in this industry. If anybody out there is watching this video and have made video games, you know what I'm talking about. It's super crucial that they get all the time possible to make the game. And it scares me that it's a possibility that 2K may be getting delayed. Now, we all know that we don't have any other basketball game that came out last year, and we don't know if another one will come out this year alongside of 2K, besides maybe Playgrounds or 2K21 themselves from 2K Sports. So it's like, bro, what else does this mean for every other game that has a fall release, every other game that has a winter release, every other game that may have a, a spring release? It's super duper scary, bro. Super duper scary because... If this coronavirus keeps going and the mass hysteria keeps going and they end up canceling the NFL and everything like that, because right now I'm an Eagles fan, they have shut the link down. If you guys don't know what the link is, the link is the facility where the Eagles play at. They've shut that down. They've shut it down for four weeks. And schools are currently out two to four weeks, depending on that variation. So right now, there's about a month of time where there's not going to be a lot of people going to work, commuting, being out in public areas. And I'm telling you now, I think that video games are about to take a huge hit. And if you didn't know, E3 was canceled. Or there are super duper reports about E3 being canceled. And that's not until June. It's March. It's super, super scary out there. So if you're a gamer, I'm telling you, man, you got to take these things into consideration because a lot can happen. Now, right now, I'm in the house chilling. You know what I mean? Living it up. Went to the market earlier. Went to Chick-fil-A earlier. Uh, earlier, a lot of people in Chick-fil-A were sniffling, coughing. I got up out of there. You know what I mean? I got about it there immediately. So this, I'm telling you, man, it's a lot that can happen. It's going to be a lot of scare. People don't want to cough. I seen a meme of Steph Curry doing an interview, and he wanted to cough or sneeze or whatever. He was ready to go into the sleeve, but then he was like, Ugh. he shook it off. That's how scared people are to do the things that our bodies, like, physically do without any thought process to it like right now i want to sneeze but i can't sneeze and you want to know why i want to sneeze because it's dust right now it's dust flying all over the camera but y'all can't see that though but i want to sneeze right now and i'm telling you it's bad nba 2k i'm scared that it's going to get delayed i'm scared that a lot of other video games are going to get delayed and i want to know your thoughts in the comment section what do you guys think is going to happen in the next couple months 
leading up to these game releases. Will they be delayed? Will they put out a product that definitely isn't finished and should not hit the shelves? Or will they make the conscious decision to say, hey, we see what's going on. We're taking the right steps. And we're going to be switching things up and maybe catch a delay. I, th- I think that a delay is inbound. What do you guys think? Um, straight up and down. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I know I haven't put out a video in a while, but I just want to put this out because, you know, I've been streaming the game a lot. A lot of people have, they always say, hey, iPod, you're not uploading on YouTube. What's going on? Is everything okay? I stream daily on Facebook. Um, I've been playing the Warzone and Plunder. I've been playing a lot of Apex, and I've been playing NBA 2K20. So I still play video games every day and stream those games over on Facebook. But as far as making content around the game, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do. And, you know, a segue into a series that I want to start. Since there isn't going to be any March Madness, I'm not, no, I'm not going to bring back Sports Commentator March Madness. But I'm going to bring a series uh, surrounding NBA 2K20 very soon. I'm still working out all the logistics. Um, I'm also going to have like a, a crazy merch drop real soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, all the links to everything where you need to follow me and get in tune with me is inside the description. If you're not in my discord, make sure you join my discord. If you want to play 2k apex or modern warfare or Warzone with me. Um, but until next time, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all on the flip side. Peace.